Good morning everybody and hello and welcome to my humble episode once again. Today I'd like to show you something that I've been working on. The first thing is I have actually managed to lose a crossbow but I'm not too worried about that. Here I've had um, in this particular bit I had the uh, UU matter and it's been taking the power from this reactor which I've been a bit unhappy about because it uses quite a lot of power so what I've done is I've moved it down to where the water wheels are now what else I've been doing let's go back downstairs one more is here I have built four mob spawners and in this one I have a blitz This one here we have a blitz with a Z T Z at the end. This is a relative I think a new one that I found recently. This one here is a basalts. And the last one here is a, a skeleton. That's just another skeleton. And this one I've got exact copy equals yes, so it doesn't generate uh, um white skeletons. I want the black ones to be generated or spawned. And when I turn this on here, first thing I need to do is make sure I've got power connected up. Because at the moment, I've been discovering that this has been using power for without actually spawning anything, which has been confusing to me. So let's just change this to an output here, and then that connects properly. And what it was doing, it was, it was using all the power out of here. It will use some now to do two things. It will use it to uh, fill up the pipes and it will use it to start spawners running here so what we then do is we turn on the this essence with the essence it will start to spawn and as you see this one here is a, a basalt i think here's a blitz oh, that's something strange here but it's not actually picking it's got power, yes it does. That's strange. It's not actually picking up the bits, it's supposed to be picking up. Anyway, I have to go and get those ourselves. Let's quickly go and get those. The droppings are picking up droppings for some reason or other. I think that's only temporary. should continue to spawn and how I've done this is like I go down here and here I bring the essence in through um, temperate fluid ducts and each of those goes into these spawners here and then in here I've got power now what I was having problems with was power you see these have all got plenty of power here and I'm not sure if the power to these is going across all of them. It seems to be bringing energy from somewhere, but I don't know where it's getting it from. So, as you can see, it's definitely spawning. I should leave that running for a bit, and that fills up this tank, of course, with an essence. So what we can do is we can take the yeah, air move this tank across to this one here and then we can make sure we've got plenty of space for this so it's easy enough with the crescent hammer shift right click pick up the tank put the tank there that fills up this resonant portable tank take the empty tank and put it back on here again and sure enough you already have some over here. So what I did here was to remove the, the, the portable spawner from here. So we've got, only here we've got the Enderman spawner here, which is uh, when we create all these all natural spawners. And they produce plenty of essence when we're standing here. And here we, see we have a skeleton. We just died. And sure enough, things should now be picked up in here. And they look as though they are. I've got 16 snowballs already. Plenty of blitz rods. One blitz rod, necrotic bones, some normal skeleton bones, which is a bit odd. I don't understand. 
we should see a basalt um, rod coming in here as well. There's what else we find? We get stuff like nitro being picked up as well, so put that in there. I noticed that from before. Okay, so let's go upstairs to the workshop and have a look at what you can do with these. So here we have the, the blitz rod, the blitz rod, <laughs> I'm sure, and basalt rod, and blaze rod. And then when you when you grind those, you get the powder. So you get blitz powder, blitz powder, basalt powder, blaze powder. And then you can make pyrothium dust, petroleum, petroleum dust, cryothium dust, and nerothium dust. And then you can actually then put those into tanks just by simply um, using the Magna Crucible on these. So for example, let's take this one here and the recipe for those, they're all fairly straightforward recipes. S coal, sulfur, blaze and redstone for that one. And next one here has, recipe for that has clay, obsidian powder, which is actually also produced by the blaze. Basalt's powder and redstone. And this one. Blitz powder, nitra, snowballs and redstone. And then both of these are get produced by the, um, the process of killing the mob. And the last one here is erythium dust. And the recipe for that is sand, nitra, blitz powder and redstone. What we actually use those for, I'm not completely sure, but uh, what we're going to show you is how to put those into the tank here. I hope my tank's empty. Yes, it is. So at the moment it's in toggle empty. So we want it in fill mode, which it's ready. So we just put these here into the magnet crucible. Magnet crucible feed takes them out of here. They go straight away into here and start to feed, fill up this tank. So if I press shift, that's uh, half full. And that's that. No more dust in there, powders in there. I'll just put this back in here for the time being because I don't know what else to do with it. And I did have a second problem. I created a new. The nether quarry is now finished, and I created a new quarry. Now, what I've got to watch out for is because these things getting full, so I've got plenty of room for dirt at the moment but what happens is when it gets full it stops but it's it's the I'm not quite sure where it stops well I'm going to go and visit the quarry that's full of uh, items which haven't been transmitted because they can't because they uh, it seems to be blocked oh, of course it'd be blocked it'll be blocked um, where the tesseract is so I don't have an overflow from where the tesseract is here as tesseract's coming out, everything goes down, and when it starts, when it can't send any more, it's still quarrying, but it doesn't, it doesn't send the items down. So somewhere I need to find a way to stop that happening. A one item, one way I've got to looking for that was to do this, but unfortunately, what I had last time is in the steep storage unit. I'd emptied it out of cobblestone. What happened is that the cobbles it then got replaced by clay, so it was and there's lots of that. So there you have lots of coins. So no, it's not it's very empty. Lots of strange noises from the mob spawners downstairs. Let's go and have a look what's going down there on there. there. So what have we got now? So yeah, now we have some basalt rods as well. And we're getting power go it's going down not too fast it does use it up fairly quickly let's just move this tank across while I'm doing some maintenance
let's quickly go upstairs what we could do is have a quick look at the quarry because the quarry was uh, as, as, is, is as large as you can get oh what I haven't showed you was this one wasn't that's right let's go to the farm quickly and in the farm these days everything's getting sent back but yes we should have some end of this because they don't seem to go back into the farm for some reason or other I don't know why so if I go down here and what I've done is I moved those items down to here what's happening is these should be this should be starting to produce you matter but for some reason it seems to have stopped it's got plenty of so it's not getting enough energy into here let's see if I can check what's going on here mass fabricator seems to be stopped on 7% and I'm not sure why maybe it needs more power let's give it more power so the max amp was 50 so if I increase this so if I increase that by 150 I don't know. I have to research into what I've done wrong with that one. I thought it was this would turn on with the amplifier was on, but I don't see how to control that. I thought it when it got a redstone signal it automatically turned on. Maybe it's inverted. Let's just turn this redstone signal off then. Ah yes. So I need to invert the red so signal. Okay, I'll do that. And the other thing I didn't show you, that was one thing I've been working on. So it was a bit of a pain because I lost all the UU matter that I had from before when I moved it, even though I used I moved it with the um the, the engineering screwdriver, which is this one. Engineer's wrench, electric wrench, sorry. The electric wrench doesn't break the machines when it's set to the lossless mode. Put it back up there and see where it belongs. I seem to have got something wrong with my farm as well, by the way. I'll take a couple of stacks of those. Um, I don't think it's important. I think I've got more than sufficient. Uh, oh, it's dark again. I have to sleep. I think we've got more than sufficient uh, industrial hemp fibre, but we probably haven't got enough seeds because they're being used by the by the bio. But what I have to do, jump back on and just fly over here quickly. Yes. So what I, I had to before was a tank, didn't I? Which then sent the stuff back down there, and I have a removed it so all the industrial hemp seeds are not going back into the oh, oh hello there's a monster let's get rid of him right. so if we put these in here see straight away it starts to farm again i will have to go and fix that very bit of a nuisance but never mind it's fine i shall fix that Okay, so quick flight over to the um, new quarry. Get them as quickly as possible. And this time I've made simply made it as large as I could, connected to the previous one. Turn off the if I turn off the hover mode it goes faster until I get near how far are we away okay 100 meters and oh, there we can see it now let's turn back the hover mode on and take that off now you can see what I've done with this it's just I basically connected it onto one side 
made it 64 by 64 and it's completely full of water which is great for um, any lava that's below it just simply get turned into obsidian what I need to the, uh, this particular uh, quarry for is to, is to manage to get um, yellowite or uranium. You don't get very much from the nether. You can get some uranium ore, but very little really. As you see, it's quite a reasonable size. Okay, let's go back home. Let's say we'll have a merge up to about 170. Already got that past. Press shift and go down. And I've got a marker here that says lava pump. And what that is is, there's a little. I think I said that. I showed you that before. We just got a little pump in the, in the in the mine below. Home. How far are we? Probably need to go up a bit. Oh no. Okay, that was all for this time. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye for now.